Hello everyone. This is Sandy Anastasi, psychic channel, intuitive astrologer, and soul coach. I'm here to talk to you about my psychic protection tip number 18. This session is going to talk about psychic protection things that you can do to survive the holiday season. And in fact, a lot of these tips, a lot of these things I'm going to mention, you can use any time you are involved during the year in stressful situations where you feel like you need additional protection. So here goes. First, be flexible. Stay centered. And plan to go with the flow all through the holiday season. Two, be sure to do some form of meditation. Do it daily because it will help you to maintain your centeredness all month. Three, focus on the spiritual side of this holiday, not just the gift giving and receiving and entertainment side. Your spiritual focus will help you to maintain a positive outlook and prevent you from losing your balance and your center when confronted with the rush and pressure of trying to get it all done. It will also help you to remain healthy and whole all through the year. Four, make lists of the gifts that you need to get and activities you need to accomplish. That will get the clutter out of your head and it will help you to remain more focused and centered. Five, avoid shopping during peak hours when stores will get super crowded. If you have no other time available to shop, or if you are one of those people who lists shopping with the Christmas hordes as one of your favorite holiday experiences, then be sure to employ full psychic protection before setting out on your shopping excursion. I'm sure many of you have already discovered the need for this after Black Friday's fun. Personally, I would recommend that you surround yourself with white light as well whenever you go out this holiday season. It makes a great protection. In addition, do a protective energy balloon before setting foot into any store or shopping mall. You'll find how to do that protective balloon elsewhere in my psychic protection tips. In some of the earlier ones, I've talked about that. Additionally, general protection tips can be found in my previous psychic protection tips, 1 through 17, as well as in my psychic protection classes. And the first hour and a half of each one of those classes is on this YouTube channel. So, have fun with that. Six, when choosing where to celebrate your holiday, choose to share your space with people you love and enjoy being with. Seven, if you have no choice but to celebrate with people who make you uncomfortable or who use the holidays as an opportunity to have an energetic feasting fest at your expense, be sure to employ all of those psychic protection tips I've given you in my earlier tips 1 through 17. Minimally, put yourself in white light and your protective energy balloon. It also wouldn't hurt to visualize the problem person in their own balloon lined with mirrors facing inward while you're with them. 8. Problem people can also be put on ice before you meet with them, provided you know that they'll be at the celebration. To do that, just engrave their name and that they will have no effect on you physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually on a candle whose color you choose to represent them. Then, wrap the candle in tin foil with the shiny side facing in because you're mirroring their energy back to them symbolically and place the tinfoil wrapped candle in your freezer. Yep, and keep it there as long as you don't want to be bothered by that person. I call that putting them on ice. Nine, 
If you find yourself traveling during the holidays, be sure to take physical precautions for protection against airborne viruses and bacteria. And also use your complete toolbox of psychic protection during your travels. Be creative. For example, when flying, I put the entire plane in white light and a protective energy balloon, not just myself. I do myself and then I do the plane. I also visualize firm walls mirroring on the outside between myself and my fellow passengers, reflecting back towards them any discomfort they have flying, as well as other negative emotions they might be projecting. Meanwhile, I keep myself centered and calm, and I expand my energy outwards towards them, sending that calmness and comfort outwards in a kind of a contagious way. All of this makes for a very comfortable and safe trip. I've been doing it for years, and my friends, it works. Ten, use mistletoe throughout your home and entertainment areas. Many people are unaware, but mistletoe has long been a protection herb for lovers. Hence the tradition to kiss beneath the mistletoe. Everyone, please have a very happy holiday season, no matter which holiday you're celebrating, be it Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or any other holiday. And have a wonderful, safe, safe, and happy New Year. Thanks so much. I'm Sandy Anastasi. You can visit me on my website at www.sandyanastasi.com. You can find out more about me and my work there. Find out about the books I've written. Find out where I am appearing online and off. And find out how to get a reading or a coaching session with me. I've got a few new releases this month. My MP4s that allow you to download my videos of my entire Anastasi system of psychic development are now available. So check them out on site. While you're there, sign up for my free newsletter and my free Psychic Hour. And check out this month's Psychic Webinar. It's going to be great. See you soon. Bye for now.